Well, a cold start to the morning. Yeah, yes, and uh, we're dealing with temperatures in the upper teens and lower 20s for many locations. And now beginning to see a little bit of that snowfall make its way into eastern Kentucky. Mm -hmm. So I want to go ahead and get into the forecast. Let's not waste any time here. Since we're talking some more snowflakes, beginning to sound more like a broken record. I know I keep hearing that as we keep talking about more snow chances. And guess what? I'll be talking about some more as we head into the latter part of the weekend and into early next week. But looking at live pinpoint Doppler right now, back towards the left part of your screen there, heading towards the I-75 corridor. Some of this blue showing up, and that's beginning to track off towards the east-southeast, eventually making its way here across eastern and southeastern Kentucky as we do head into the next hour or so. We do have that winter weather advisory for southern parts of the state, including southeastern Kentucky. All those counties highlighted in purple here are under this advisory, and that goes until noon today. Now temperatures across the board, pretty cold, upper teens in Moorhead, lower 20s there in Paintsville and Jackson. And then to your south and southeast, we're seeing those readings in the mid even upper 20s. But later on this afternoon, temperatures only rebound into the lower 30s. So all in all, a very cold start to your day. Bus stop forecast shapes up like this for you as you're getting the kids ready for school this morning. Be sure to throw those extra layers on them, the glove, the hat, of course, the winter coat. That will all be ideal as we get the kids prepared early on this morning, and it will come in handy not only early on, but later today as well. As I mentioned, temperatures only climbing into the lower 30s. In fact, we'll top out around 33 degrees later on today. And notice we're going to hold on to those scattered snow chances throughout much of this morning, this afternoon, and unfortunately through tonight before we'll finally dry things out into Saturday morning. And it's all because of this system really beginning to fill in to our north and west. This is all tracking towards the east southeast, and that's going to increase our snow chances here throughout the morning hours. And then once again this afternoon and this evening. And as we kick it off with future view, we started off at nine o'clock this morning. Notice the band of snow across southern and western parts of the state that pushes off towards the east, eventually bringing some light snowfall across far southeastern Kentucky. Then winds begin to turn more from the north and northwest. Remember when that happens, that helps enhance, help develop some of those snow showers, those snow squalls. And that's exactly what we're going to see as wet into the afternoon through this evening, even tonight around 9 15 p.m. We're still dealing with those scattered snow showers. That'll be the case through the overnight hours and into early Saturday morning. We'll eventually dry things out, eventually clear things out into Saturday afternoon. Partly to mostly sunny skies should prevail. And we're going to see that briefly because unfortunately more cloud cover builds back in from the west to northwest along with the chance for some more snowfall, potentially accumulating snowfall into Sunday night and early Monday. As far as the forecast totals are concerned with this system, anywhere from a dusting towards an inch, especially near the Tennessee and Virginia border, those higher elevation areas or to the south will have the better chance for some of the higher accumulations. But still, all in all, not too bad of an event and we're talking pretty light amounts here. All right, so let's get into it. There's a lot of talk, a lot of chatter about this potential storm as went into early next week. I get a lot of comments saying, well, what about Monday, Chris? What about Tuesday? So let's talk about it. It's a pretty complicated one at that. We have a system to our north, a system to the south. This one's going to slide towards the north, heading across the Great Lakes region. The one to the south will remain to the south, and it's going to gather some steam. Now it's going to begin to pull some of that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to lift a warm front across the state. This is around Sunday at 9 o'clock. That will continue to track off towards the east. This is the setup. This is what we're thinking right now. And of course, a lot will change. If this happens the way that we think it might happen, this low will track across the volunteer state and then begin to turn more towards the north and northeast, heading up the Appalachian Mountains. And if so, notice this blue area here. This is our area of concern and also our area of uncertainty because we're not exactly sure what exactly we're going to be dealing with. This could be a cold rain at 35 to 40 degrees, or this could be temperatures cooling off and we could be talking some heavy snowfall. That's the questions that we have still to answer, and there's a lot of details to iron out with this. And of course, we're going to continue to track it here in the Sky Alert Weather Center. So just stay tuned here and keep it with us, and we'll continue to keep you updated on the latest with that. Now, here's a look at the seven day forecast. Temperatures remain cold. We're talking teens for high in the Saturday and then upper 20s in the Sunday. And of course, rain and snow showers become a good possibility into early next week before temperatures eventually rebound to 50 degrees by next Thursday.